Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Pokemon Platinum with me, P to me, PTG. Uh, in the last video, we were in the Orberg Gate, and we caught us a Golbat. In this video, we are going to um, proceed with the game and try to get to Eterna City. And, um, yeah, I noticed that there's no Pokemon in the background. That's because my new background is just a blue screen, so... Yeah. Uh, fight, spark... Oh wait, why am I recording? Um, I'm sorry for not having a video on most of this week, actually. Uh, but on Thursday... No, Thursday? Friday? Yesterday was Thursday. On Wednesday, um, I recorded a video, or I started recording a video right after my math class, and then uh, my dad came home, so I had to scrap it. So, yeah. What can you do? Not much. Also, I shaved, so um, if anyone battles me, they will see how crappy I look without a <laughs> without a beard. Oh man. Uh, also, this is Navra, so I'm going to use. Um, oh wait, I can't because it'll just teleport. But let's see if it doesn't. No? Okay. Um, but yeah, oh man, I looked in the mirror right before I started recording this, and um, I look really bad. I've got like bags under my eyes that look like I ate a whale, and then tried to throw it up again. Alright. Um, tell me, have you not obtained the Palpad? If is not the Palpad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, it, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilife city. I shall therefore take my investigations elsewhere. But, my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. This guy is going to change his voice every single time we meet him. He's not going to be a pirate. He is not going to be a pirate. And I need to heal up, so hold up. Alright, um, I put Val in the lead, as you can see. And, um, so we are going to go up here, which is where, oh wait, no, let's go to, oh wait, we can't, okay, never mind, um, let's go up here, no, 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 blah, 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 this is really boring text and doesn't really say anything, it's just like, oh, this is bad people, so, let's fight them, shut up, everybody, ah, so tired. Uh, uh, no, I must stay awake for the glory of this Let's Play. Um, so, this is the first time we're introduced to Team Galactic, I think. And, um, pretty much they are stupid people. Which, I suppose makes sense, because why would you join a cult if you weren't stupid? Um, so they go out with those two Pokemon, and immediately I'm switching out my um, Vlad because it's not going to do very much. Cleopatra, on the other hand, has Intimidate, so that's going to cut both their attack, and also, um, also I've got a five-level advantage on them, so they're not going to be able to harm me very much at all. And so this is battle is going to be pretty easy. Um, I think these are both uh, dark types. This might just be poison. Not entirely sure. That did a lot of damage. Uh, so this is Spark Glamiel. Because it doesn't have any damage on it. And... Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, so the main point in this is to try and level up Val as much as possible. Uh, since these things have a level advantage. Um, or at least the first time I did this battle they got really lucky and got like four criticals in a row and just completely destroyed Val and so I'm trying to avoid that <laughs> in this battle and so I just decided to take him out really fast. Also that battle was ridiculously slow. It was it was terrible. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, that lot, they call them the Team Galactic. They believe mystic stuff, potential. Um, 
I actually like Team Galactic as far as all the uh, bad teams go because they actually do stuff. Um, you'll see later on in the game what they actually do, but like um, compared to Team Rocket, which pretty much doesn't do anything, well, to be fair, I guess Team Rocket was able to force a Magikarp to evolve. But they didn't really do anything either. Um, also, yeah, we got a fashion case. And then, um, and then, who was it? Team Magma and Team Aqua? I want to say Aqua. Uh, they really didn't do anything either, because, I mean, sure, they awoke a Pokemon. And what is this? Alright, right, um, Team Aqua and Team Magma awoke Groudon and, or, woke, uh, I said Aqua first. They said, they awoke Kyogre and Groudon, respectively. And so, um, uh, Team Aqua wanted to expand the sea by having Kyogre rain all over everything and just flood the hell out of everything. And, um, it would have been Valiant, or, well, actually, no, I disagree completely. Completely, completely with them, um, because if you've played Ruby or Sapphire or Emerald, you will find that you will see that there is so much ocean, it's ridiculous. Um, and then, so they tried to do this, but they couldn't because they failed. What? Uh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, your turn. Um, they failed because they couldn't control Kyogre, and so it got really out of hand. And he was just trying to flood everything without any direction, just be like, I'm flooding everything. What you gonna do about it? And um and then Team Magma wanted to increase the landmass by using um by using Groudon to I guess use his lava to create land somewhat like how Hawaii was formed, or I guess exactly like how Hawaii was formed. Um and so, that didn't work out too well either, because he was just like, Nope, I'm gonna dry out the ocean, because I hate everybody. I'm not gonna create more, well, yeah, that wouldn't create more land, it would just uncover existing land. I would suppose. Uh, but yeah. So they couldn't control him either, and then they just looked really stupid. And level 11. Um, the reason I caught a Golbat, by the way, is so that it'll evolve faster, because... Um, at level, wait, no, go back, uh, because in order to get a, a Crobat, you have to evolve a, is that a bug type, or is that a grass type? One way to find out. Um, you, the way you evolve a Golbat is by it loving you, and so, okay, I guess it's grass type, um, and so, if you get a really low level of Zubat, it will take around 24, 25 levels, and um, if you get a goal bat, it'll probably take around the same amount of time, only, actually maybe half as much time, but you'll also be stronger, and things of that sort, so, I don't know, I just find it better to have, uh, I was leech seeded, are you kidding me? Bro, dang, alright. I'll have, or uh, all stuff is off. I'm gonna destroy you in the face for leech lifing me. Or not leech lifing, uh, leech seeding. Um, and then. That's one, three, four. Alright, so Team Galactic, uh, they actually just want to unleash, uh, Giratina. And by doing so, they wish to create their own world. Which is prop Or was it destroy this world and then recreate it? I don't remember. One of those two. But they want to full-on incinerate everything that anyone has ever made and rebuild. Which is probably the scariest thing you could do in a Pokemon game. Um, and so that's why I claim that they are the best... And, um, I've, I've played the Generation 5 games, and, uh, I don't really want to spoil anything, 
But I will say that uh, Team Plasma is nowhere near as dangerous or scary as uh, Team Galactic. I mean, the way that Team Galactic goes about fighting or uh, doing what they want to do is completely stupid and ridiculous. Um, although they almost make it work somehow. I don't know how they pulled it off. I guess just game designers were like, hey, we have to have them win in some form. And so, there you go. But, yeah. Um, and we're making a lot of progress. I think I've shaved off at least four minutes of time from the other video. And I don't really have anything to battle this Wormble with. Uh, except Astonish, but I don't feel like Astonishing the hell out of this Wormble. So, give Peggy Pop some screen time, because she hasn't had, or he hasn't had any, sorry, Peggy Pop, uh, in a while. And I'm pretty sure I'm now going to be outsped, but, Peck, oh, I wasn't outsped, cool. Um, what else is there to talk about? We're coming up on, whoops, we're coming up on this place called... Floroma Town? Floroma Town, I think. Uh, and yeah, fight all you want. It's super effective. It's storing energy, I don't care, because it's going to be dead unless I miss somehow. Um, yeah, we're going to go on this new place called Floroma, which is where you will find uh, more storyline to the um, Team Galactic. So, like, I know that I probably didn't explain it well, um, but you'll see. Like, the more that we encounter them, because you'll encounter Team Galactic, like, 27 times in this game. And so you you see them a lot. And, uh, the more times you talk to, or see them, the more I'll explain about them. Uh, so let's just get a screech going. And a... No, not Peck, because that is, uh, these things, Pachirisus, or Patrisus, or, I don't know how else you would pronounce it, but I pronounce it, uh, Patri uh Pachirisus. These guys are electric types, and I think they're the first electric types you can encounter in the game. Um, I think they're also in that grass that we just walked through. And so, I'm going to... Attack you and attack you, and um, they will. These guys will. Uh, do they have static? I don't think they have static, but I think they also. And but I think that they do have thunder wave, so they're kind of like the um, plus and minus from Generation Three. So yeah, they're not they're not that fun to uh, battle long term. Or maybe it's not this battle, but there's another d double battle later on with two Pachirisus. Uh, and what the hell, Val? Why are you missing so much? Why is everybody missing? What? And so, uh, if you really want to end this battle quickly, uh, use a ground type move of some sort, but I don't have any. Finally, damn. Like, four misses on a row, Val. I am sorely disappointed. But, um, yeah, if you want to end the battle quickly, use a ground type, but I don't have any ground types. I've only got my two, uh, Pokemon weak to electricity, and then an electric type, uh, and level 18. Oh, cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess I'll go with an Astonish to try and help out this battle a little more. And quick attack. Stop quick attacking me! Rawr. I guess also if you have a Pokemon that's, uh, not very defensive, then, wait, what, uh, then it shouldn't really, and then you're probably going to be stuck here taking a bunch of, uh, quick attacks. So, that's not fun, but what can you do? Anyways, Metal Claw, and that's dead. Wait, Metal Claw's not very effective against electric types? I thought it was neutral. Hmm, interesting. No wonder it wasn't doing that much, but... I guess, other than Pound and Bubble, it was, this is the only thing I got, so, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're coming up on 15 minutes, and I guess we'll just head up there in the next video. Um, let's read the sign. Flower Aroma Town. 
or Floa Romato. So, yep, this is Tony PTG. In the next video, we will be going to Floa Roma Town and uh, having fun and healing up my Pokemon because these guys are dying. So, Tony PTG, subscribe, rate, comment, and I will see you in the next video. If you want to battle me, drop a comment, leave me your friend code or whatever, and I'll get back to you on it. Okay, bye.